you have the best of evening now today is super awesome mm -hmm. and a very very special episode my name is premier dunyami and mine is nana tufu Obwate. i'm sitting in for your usual host at kwamina now guess why it is a special show today of course it is her birthday. Happy birthday to you, Freyma. Thank you. All right, let's not drop all the goodies now. Let's go for a quick break. When we come back, we unload it all onto you. Remember, the show is brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? Coming up on the Upside Down show today, we have a conversation with opera singer, media personality, member of the city CBS, and all-round powerhouse, Kokui Selome Hansen. And later, it's a party with G's band right here on the Upside Down show. Welcome back to watching the Upside Down show. And today we have something beautiful, having something so emotional, something that you know, we'll take you to a different world. Nana, mm -hmm. you, you know, uh, um, sometimes I wonder, you know, how God gives talents, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, there are a lot of questions that yeah. I, I personally would ask God if you we were to meet, meet in him. heaven. No, <laughs> I, for meeting, I know I will meet him, but I have a tall list of questions, mm -hmm. you know, because how come he gives certain people some abilities, some capabilities, mm -hmm. you know, they can do so many things at the same time and, and you just admire them. But th that is why he is God. Okay. That is why he is God and we are human. You see, the same God that created the frog is the same God that created the nightingale. And so then you can get the variations between hey, the voices. Hey, philosophers. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> no, so you know, this lady that we're going to be talking mm -hmm. to, I mean, I really, really, really love her, you yeah. know. Even when I did not know her, I really admired her. How come she's able to do so much, you know, yeah. at one time. And she does it effortlessly, effortlessly you know. I mean. Please help us welcome our very own, the beautiful, the adorable, Kukui Salome. You know, how is it like you, being you. here and not being on the CBS? And Charlie, <laughs> it's, it's a lot later in the day, so that's good, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. Oh, no, but it's fantastic. I watch Upside Down every week, mm -hmm. you know. Obviously, I see you guys every day. Amazing Those watching stuff. us don't see you like I see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, look, it's good to be here on set in a different capacity. We're going yes. to chat. You know, yeah. yeah. You know. And today, we're not talking about... break it all down today. We're not talking about politics. We're not talking about bad roles. We're not right? talking about no watch, <laughs> you know. <laughs> today, we are appreciating, we are mm -hmm. celebrating you because we believe that you worked so hard. Oh, and wow. you have contributed <laughs> your own to a media, to music, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. wifehood, to Aye. motherhood, all the hoods you can think about. Okay, well done. Charlie, I crossed it by plan. If you so. If you so. If you so. No, so you know, I, I always wanted to know um, how it is like, you know. You know, in Ghana, we are so passionate about our football and our politics. Yeah. And so when somebody's into politics, you have your whole family members also in politics. Yeah. So if your mother does something, you are part of it. Your grandmother is part of it. Your you sisters are, are part of it. Every single you know, thing. Everybody is part of it. So, I mean, your father was a minister of state. Mm -hmm. How was it like, you know, growing up oh, in gosh. this environment? You know, it, it's funny you should mention that because people have a certain notion yes. about people who have politicians in their family. Yeah. In fact, I, sh I should actually say my dad was a technocrat. Mm -hmm. He yeah. wasn't a politician, yeah. you know, in the traditional sense. So he was an expert in economics and finance, uh -huh. yeah. and he was appointed to be a deputy finance minister under yeah. former President Rawlings throughout the two terms he served. And, you know, he, he, was, he was about the work. And so for me... You know, in the, the modern day kind of political <laughs> dynasties are very different from what yeah. I grew up in. I grew really? up in a very moderate household. I grew up, look, we lived in South La in my grandparents' house. I went to, I went to, I used to take the trotro to school, a oh, rich wow. school. Wait, oh, hold up. Are you, saying, I, I, are you saying things were not as rosy no, as no, we're picturing? Not at all. No, because not we a, have a certain impression yeah. of you. I know. Mm -hmm. I know changed. people have that impression. <laughs> we're back and I want to set the today. record straight. So, so please, <laughs> we're to set the record straight. Let's go back from yeah. when you were born. I mean, your formative years and yeah. that journey. Okay. So I was born here in Ghana. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
at not too far from here. They now call it the Greater Accra Regional Hospital, Rich Hospital. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Um, for, uh, one of four siblings. So I have an older brother mm -hmm. a, and a younger sister, well, my only sister, and then a younger brother. Okay. okay. Now, when I was a baby, 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 uh -huh. We moved to the UK. My dad was yeah. studying for his master's okay. Oh, okay. in the UK. So that's what took us there. Mm. Um, so he, he did that, started his doctorate. Then, of course, we all know the history. Coup d'etats happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, his funding stopped for his doctoral degree. Okay. We were there for a while. You know, my parents, just, you know, just mm -hmm. holding it all together as parents mm -hmm. do. Yeah. And, you know, they sacrificed a lot for us. So people have this notion that, oh, we born with silver spoons and mouths. And no, 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 that's not Wait, it. Do you even mm -hmm. think that you don't feel potholes when you drive on them? Oh, I feel them. Pa. Really? Oh, <laughs> they're there, Charlie. They're there. Yeah, strong. Yeah. Right. But um, we, so we moved back to Ghana in 1988. Okay. Yeah. And then so I went to Richard church school yeah for me it was like culture shock because remember as i said yes. i left here when i was a baby so i yeah. didn't know anything about ghana uh -huh. yeah um, so how old I, were you then i was i was nine and okay. some almost mm. ten okay almost ten um so everything formative about me had been uk all yeah. my friends were yeah. white english people yeah. so how, how did it feel when you had to transition Challenge? to ghana you had to <laughs> blend in with the kids at school that was richard school right that yeah. was richard yeah. school it, it was it was tough uh, it was a totally different system you know different style of teaching mm. Thankfully, I had a teacher who, she was t tough on me, but she was also patient enough to teach me, yeah. let me get, you know, catch up. I was sure. also a bit younger than everybody mm. because the, there wasn't enough space in the class I was supposed to be in, which I think was class four. So okay. I ended up in class six. Miss Whoa. Edu, wherever she is now, Miss Edu took her time with me, you know, got me up to speed. So I, mm. I finished class six JHS, JHS mm. at um, Ridge, then went to Holy Child School. Yeah. yeah. For SHS. So after that, one one you take pride in. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Abby, Abby, of course. When you're attached <laughs> to your second house, I, I know how you they do it. it yeah. 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 My younger sister was a holy know. child, so I know how it is like. Oh really? Yes, yes. So I know how it is like. So you know how? Okay. So she's a Hobson. <laughs> no, but my mom is a Hobson as well. My grandmother okay. was a Hobson, so it's, okay, so it's so kind of like yeah, my sister as well. Okay. So my dream after holy child was actually to go to Legon. Like that was. I wanted to be a Legon student. Yeah, Legon night. Yes, mm. I was going to study law. Like that was the whole yeah. plan. Yeah. Then my my parents came and said, "Okay, no, you're you're going to go and continue schooling in the U.S." And I was actually quite sad because I ha I oh, really wow. had my heart set on Legon. Wow, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the first time for me. I'm telling you, the agreement was that I would become a lawyer. No, okay. Mm. And that was okay, so that was that, actually yeah. my wish. You know, um, I, I in secondary school, you know, the electives I wanted were not offered, but fine. I, I was a general arts student. Mm. Mm. I wanted English, literature, and French. Okay. That, I, I loved the languages, you know. Yeah. I ended up having to do economics, geography, and French. Okay, fine. Mm. You know, no worries. Mm -hmm. You're going to become a lawyer. Mm. Guess the US. Um, I decided that I wanted to be an entertainment lawyer. Oh, okay. okay. Because of that, I, I said, okay, I'll double major in political science and music mm. for my undergrad degree. Right. So I get to Spelman College, which is in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. I'm, I'm skipping ahead a bit, but I get to Spelman. And to be a music major, you had to have an instrument. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't play any, any instruments. instruments then. All I had was my voice, yeah. which is an instrument. Yeah. Okay. In Absolutely. the context of musical music, study, yeah. and voice you, you is have an a instrument. One so, of that. But Charlie, back then, no, no, see, hmm. I get there, <laughs> and you're, you're in a school with young women who, from all over America, even yeah. some other countries, and these, these are, they've been in performing arts high schools, they've had voice lessons, yeah. they know, they've auditioned, you know, they're very confident yeah. about their singing, and, and then here comes me, you know, the girl from Ghana who really didn't have a concept of what it was mm -hmm. like to be in that kind of a musical yeah. environment, mm -hmm. so uh, you had to audition. Mm -hmm. I never went to the political science department. Whoa. After that, yeah, I ended up doing music and theater. You dropped it all together. Two performing arts majors, yeah. Wow. Well, mm. yeah. But eventually you took the decision to go into did. music. Did. Yeah. Did you get that kind of support from friends, from family? Oh. I'm sure you know the story about being a, a child of Ghanaian parents mm -hmm. who, let's be honest, want the best for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Our parents always mean well. They want us to be secure. They want us to be fulfilled. They want us to be successful. Mm -hmm. And we know that there are certain professions that, at least in the past, uh, seem to be those professions that are revered, the professions that will give you that success and that will give you respect yeah. and the longevity and all of those yeah. things. So obviously they were in full support of me being a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So to come back and say, no, no, no I, I really want to, to be a singer, to be an opera singer, well, 
suffice it to say that definitely there was some resistance. Yeah. Mm. But eventually they came around. I think once they realized the seriousness with which I approached the whole thing, they understood. I'm sure if I decided, if I went today and said, Mom, you know what, I'm going to go to law school, she'll probably be very happy. Yeah. Mm. But um, she's... she's under, she understands yeah. my passion. Yeah, yeah, she understands. Yeah. So from the states, you came back to Ghana. Came back to Ghana in two thousand and nine. Okay, September. Yeah. So you came yeah. back, haven't learned music. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you felt you're coming back to Ghana to do music. What kind of music did you think you're coming yeah. to do? So I, I, I came to, when I was coming back home. Funnily enough. I was well aware that what I do is not mainstream at mm -hmm. all. Okay. The Ghanaian music scene isn't exactly classical yeah. oriented. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I had two things in mind. One, you can create a niche. Mm -hmm. Or two, you can go into a different field. Okay. I, I didn't have any illusions of grandeur. I didn't think I'm going to walk into Ghana and everybody's going to say, hey, we've got an opera singer and it's great. No. Yeah. Um, but I was open yeah. to basically whatever would come about. So. Okay. so whilst you were in Ghana, you were a child, you were yeah. a student, now you've gone, studied, you are back home, ready for the job market. How did you start? Ah, interesting. Very few people may know this. Uh -huh. I started at GIPC. GIPC? Oh, wow. That was my first job when as I came what? to Ghana. Right. That's my promotion I was, Ghana. Yeah, I was, wow. I was actually the head of PR there. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Mm. And I, I think I was there for six months. That's when I realized, no, I wasn't ready to work Maybe in a government no. agency. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Share some of those experiences. <laughs> Prima? What was it like? That was an 85? That was, oh, come again. That was an 85, 85 job. Oh, it was. Mm -hmm. Or oh, 93. That wasn't the issue, though. Or oh, 93. But within the 85, the there were issues. Oh, too far? <laughs> So now you are a journalist. I mean, now you are a media person. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you sit on the breakfast show, you talk about Ghana and stuff like that. Yes. You had some kind of experience mm -hmm. back then. Very so little. what were some of the issues then? You remember, I had literally just come fresh from the U.S. where there's a different work ethic. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, things are faster paced and there's just really no room for nonsense if you want to keep your job. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, yeah, it was a slower pace. That took some adjustment. Um, there were certain human relation things that I, I couldn't handle. And again, that was very different for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, even little things like, uh, and this isn't one of the reasons I left, but it was the first time I had been in a workplace <laughs> where you go for meetings yeah. and you're paid. So like, like a sitting allowance. Wow, what's this? I had never heard. I was like, <laughs> ah, we get money. Him. So I said, oh, we have to go and meet about, I don't know, some trade, something or other. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you go, okay, you have to write your name and give you, I'm like, ah, what's this what money for? for? Oh, it's your sitting allowance. Yeah. You get paid for going to meet. Yeah, oh, this is I, nice. nice. Okay. I, know. I never, yeah. <laughs> you know? Things I, it was, that was totally new to me. And then your yeah. music, you know, so you're back yeah. to Ghana where we are doing high life and hip life yeah. was, you know, gaining you. momentum and all. And you are here coming to do some opera music coming and all. Oh. How, how did that fit in? You know, um, there's a gentleman named James Atuscott Bennon who mm -hmm. used to be the music director at Accra Ridge Church. Okay. And I met Ankara to through a, a family friend, Auntie Ajili, wherever she is, hi. Yeah. She actually spoke to him about me because she knew I sang classical music. And she said, oh, I'm going to talk to our music director about you. So maybe you, at Christmas you can sing something at Red Church. And I thought, okay, fine. And she actually did. Mm -hmm. So Ankara to some people know him as Red Cap. He's a good producer. He's worked with Amanzibab, mm. um, our friend okay. Kwame Yeboah, um, all these people. So... He said, okay, you know, bring her. I met him. He said, okay, come and sing at our Christmas concert. So I did. So a couple of things he did at Rich Church, he called me, I did. Then through that, another family friend said, oh, there's a couple that's celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be nice if mm -hmm. you came to sing and, you know, they're having just a little dinner at home. And it turned out that couple actually turned out to be Edward and Irina Kufuado. Oh, who's okay. the, the brother of our okay, current president yeah. and his wife. So that was my first time meeting them. I had no idea who they were. Mm. You know, I yeah. went to the house and they were so kind to me. Really, really kind. Um, at the dinner, I sang. You know, there were so many people were there. Who, people who we all knew mm. <laughs> were there. Again, this is all, I'm just singing, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, 
so when that was over, then I remember Aunt Irene said, oh, I'm going to do a Christmas concert at my house. I'd love for you to sing. Harmonious Chorale is coming. So I thought, okay, you know, I'll just Why come and sing. So I did that as well. And that's actually how I met um, Leonardo mm. through all of that. Um, so through those things, that's when I started to realize, no, there are people who actually love this love, kind of yeah. music and are ready to support it. And it, 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 it's just spiraled from there. Now, the current first lady, mm -hmm. that's Auntie Becky, Mrs. Rebecca Kufuado, has a, a charity mm -hmm. yeah. called the Infanta Malaria Foundation. Okay. And they decided to do a fundraiser for their, they were trying to get mobile clinics for mm. rural areas. Mm. And they did this fundraiser, classical music concert. Now, there was a Japanese lady, her name is Naomi, and she was here posted with her husband, who was a, like the deputy Japanese ambassador or something, number two. She's a pianist. Mm. Mm. So they decided to do a concert with her. Then, Again, um, I think it's Auntie Karantima Adidaku. She was the one who said, oh, Kokui is a singer. You know, let's bring her on board as well. So they did. So I did this concert with them, for them, at uh, Physicians and Surgeons. Okay. That was the first one I did with them. Mm -hmm. And at that concert, there was somebody called Samuel Atamensa. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Nikamati Fio. <laughs> yeah. So isn't this strange? Which so was this? Do you remember? This was 2010. Okay. Mm. Yes. So some ten years ago. Because yeah. I was, yeah, I was pregnant mm. with my first, yeah. Okay. So it was 2010. I had him in 2011, March. So yeah, 2010. So I came here for an interview, actually, City FM mm. oh. on Benach on <laughs> CBS. It's weird. <laughs> Which you wow. are on now. Yeah, came for an interview with Naomi. So that's when I met Bernard. And then after that, they got in touch. And Bernard said, oh, you need to come back and let's do a proper interview about you. It's very interesting. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. So they called me into City. I came with my husband, I remember. And they said, look. Why don't you come and host a classical music show on City FM oh, wow. on Sundays? You know, we'll give you a, a, a slot on Sundays. Come and play classical music, talk about classical music. And I thought, ah, who is this man who has this innovative idea <laughs> to have a... Do you, you understand? Like, yeah. I just thought, this is so random, yeah. so bizarre, but, but really cool. And I remember Bennett was like, look, it's a good opportunity. You should I, do, I know how to say it. Bennett was key. like, oh, you should do it, you should do it, it's funny, you should do it. You should do it. <laughs> so I said, okay. All right, so I started. Every Sunday I would come here. Um, so I decided to call the show Classic City. Okay. okay. Every Sunday I would come here, play classical music, discuss it, explain to people what the music was about, mm. who wrote it, all of that stuff. I did that for a couple of years. Then one day, Samenz and Bernard, this who are them, those two people, <laughs> they summoned me to Samenz's office. I say, what have I done? They said, Kukui, you know, we're thinking that you should join Bernard on The Breakfast Show as a co-host. Mm. Yeah. So a lot of people don't know that I was actually on CBS before I left City yeah. to go to... Yeah. yeah. So I was on CBS, so I said, ah, really, I should join The Breakfast Show? Eh, I'm going to talk about politics and all this stuff. I'm like, but eh, who am I to say no to some ends? And mm. Bernard said, okay. <laughs> so okay, fine. So that's we started. It was going so well. Oh, we had such a good vibe. Oh. And then you left. <laughs> Why did you go? Why? Favor? Yes. Hmm. Viasat one. No, because I haven't hmm. forgiven you. <laughs> Viasat one. Yeah. Viasat one. So yeah, um, I got a call from Anita Eskin, mm -hmm. and I, in fact, I was sitting in this studio Can you like, imagine? on the breakfast show when mm. I saw Anita calling. I said, ah, I'll call her after the show. After the show, I just went to stand outside where the parking lot is. I called Anita back. So Anita, what's going on? She said. Kokui, Vice is starting a morning show and they want you to be the female host. I said, ah, I just started <laughs> the breakfast show yeah. in City and it's going really well. She's yeah. like, oh, just come and do a screen test. Just come, you know, see yeah. what is it. Just come, come. So I thought, okay, I'll do a screen test. So we did, I did the first screen test. Then the second one with, we, we did it with, there were two of us in consideration, I think. Mm -hmm. And we did it with two men. Okay. One of whom was Patrice. Patrice. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Gosh. So that was my first yeah. time meeting Patrice. Okay. And I thought he was crazy. But that's yeah. another story. But so, isn't he though? He is. <laughs> a bit. So then I think Amake, I've ever said, at that time she was head of production, yeah. head of own programs yeah. at Viasat. And she said, okay, we want to offer you the job and blah, blah, blah. My first, oh, I, how am I going to tell Samens this? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, just, I agonized <laughs> over it for days. Mm -hmm. I, could, I, didn't, I, couldn't know, I couldn't figure out what to no, say. No, I can imagine. And how did you Let break me, the yeah. news? Yeah. How did I break the news? So, so I went to Bernard. I said, Bernard, they've offered me the thing. Oh. Bernard said, no, Kukui, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> I know. No, don't go. Yeah. I said, Bernard, 
I know, but he said, I know, but I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. You know, okay, you go ahead. You know, <laughs> then I had to tell some man's <laughs> Yeah. I said, my stomach was like, yeah, I know. I can imagine so, that. Yeah. so eventually it was actually in the um, kitchen. Okay. I remember. Yeah. yeah, I was, I was sitting there and I think he came in. And I was like, okay, this is my chance. Yeah, say so it he, he was sitting next to myself. So I I think I'm gonna take the job. And he, he was, he was quiet for a bit. And he was like, okay. And and I was like, yeah, but I'm really sad about it. And he was like, no, 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 don't be sad. You obviously, you have, you have a desire to do TV. So don't worry, you, you go do the TV. You know, he was cool about it, but Charlie, it was hard to tell him. Yeah. So yeah, I ended up leaving, going to Viasat. For a while, I still kept on with the classical show. Okay. But after a while, it just got too much. Mm. By that time, I'd had another child. And, Charlie. Yeah. So how has yeah. it been, you know, still doing the music, doing yeah. um, media, mm -hmm. you know, does the music pay, the, the classical music you do, does it pay? You know, it, it could pay more if I really focused on it. Yeah. Okay. I haven't truly, th really thinking about it. Aside the time I did the album with Uncle Hugh. I really haven't. No, no, taken say the time. Hugh properly. Let's know. Yeah, so let people don't think that some like you will be, you know, about, about. around Ridge or something. Please. The one, the only. Yeah. Hugh no, it's a big deal. Masakela. You know? The mm -hmm. late great. Yes. But yeah. I was going to Charlie. talk to that. I mean, every yeah. artist has had their high moments, they have had their moments of glory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have recorded with Hugh Masakela. I can't even believe it. Would you say that was your highest point? I think it has to be. Tell us it about has that to experience. Be. The man was mm. a civil rights yeah. icon. Yeah. yeah. He's a legend. That that also goes back to the Ecofuados. Um They, you know, we talked about doing an album, and, and we were going back and forth on it. And Uncle, and mm. sorry, Uncle Hugh, and he actually liked to be called Uncle Hugh. Okay. He was a really, in fact, great friend of theirs. Mm. Very close to um, President and um, His wife. Um, Uncle Bumpty. Very okay. close to them. I went to their house one night. They said, "Oh, he's in town, so we should come." Got to the house, and he was just there. You know, just as cool as <laughs> ever. Back. Yeah. And so, no, you know, I should play something. And he greeted me. He was so warm. I was like, yeah, this is him. I was like, like this is, yeah. ah, is this, this is him. Mm -hmm. He said, oh, I should sing something. I said, okay. And the uncle Artu sat down at the piano and said, what are you going to sing? I said, okay, let's sing Mie Bomoku. It's a gun song. Yeah. So he started playing. Sign. Well, I thought we were going to oh. sing a little yeah. bit of it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh come on. A bit of it. Come <laughs> on. That was the if intro you're... to Hugh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so we, we need to celebrate that. Intro to you. No, yeah. so it's a popular girl song. Yeah. Um, and the, so, okay, I'll sing it, then I'll, I'll add just yes. a little bit. <laughs> don't, don't worry. A little bit, Faber. It's all right. It's all right. I'm in. Mia Gbomoko. Ekbe po mile, mile, mile. Ekbe po mile, mile, mile. Shivole hani makbe mi sen keke no, keke le va o mi. Mi hami no kone la, hami ne wale mi mawo, wale mi mawo, mawo. E hami no ni mi ta wo, ra, ra, ra. Chevele be po mi le, mi le. Me and I. So it. That's you know, the what, what you're and performing. You are going to rob us of this. I, I watch you. You know what you're performing. What is performing? I watch you like I don't know you. Yeah. You know, you, you, you transform. I'm like. Exactly. Ah, it's not going to be added, you know. No, it's, it's one of my favorite songs. And it just means yeah. I have a friend. Um, I don't know his name, mm -hmm. but let me just cry out and he'll be there. He'll carry me oh. he'll, and I don't know his name. So basically yeah. talking about, you know, yeah. God. So, is so, that so friend let's, always there? let's, let's talk about the money aspect, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm very interested in no, that. No. We're talking about whether it pays or not, you yeah. know, because it, it can. And mm. the reason I say it can is because again, it's not mainstream, but it's a very, it's a specialty. Mm -hmm. And whenever you have something that's unique, it's rare, mm -hmm. so it's valuable. Do you understand? But again, because I'm not focused as much as I could or should be on yeah. it, mm. but it does pay relatively well, I would say. Mm. Okay. Um, and there are lots of musicians in that genre in Ghana who, you know, we talk about this a lot, the remuneration and the fact yeah. that people downplay the, the skill. You know, when you're when you're in the arts, when you're a musician, when you're an art, a visual artist, yeah. when you're people sometimes they, they just have this notion if you're a photographer, you know, they think yeah. it's just something you get you up and playing. do. So they don't they don't value yeah. it. Just for Whereas in other jurisdictions, 
those skills are valued, properly exactly. valued, okay. which is why the industries grow and they do yeah. very well. Yeah. But here we still have this notion, oh, oh, just come and sing something. Oh, just take some pictures. Yeah. Oh, can't you just play something? Mm. No, the person studied to acquire skills to do this well. They invested in themselves. Yeah. Mm. So you thinking, oh, but you're just coming to play for five minutes. No. I've studied for several exactly. years, do you understand? Yeah. A doctor yeah. studies for several yeah. years mm -hmm. to perform surgery. Yeah. You pay them, you know, mm -hmm. commensurate with their experience. Absolutely. Musicians, journalists, presenters, dancers should also That's be true. accorded That's respect true. for yeah. their craft. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we haven't gotten there yet as a mm. society, yeah. you know, so we need to work on that. Concert-wise, you, you pretty much have to organize your own or be mm. part of one that some private people are organizing. Um, but there's all you'll be surprised. Weddings, yeah. I get funerals. Mm. Oh, funerals, oh, prima. Some yeah. bougie funerals. <laughs> funerals <laughs> because I don't think and everybody that wants a funeral, funeral on the park. That see, we have the yasa for with, 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 with <laughs> funeral, but I think people get it twisted. <laughs> they, 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 people get to think that the <laughs> opera music is sad music. Yeah. That's how come you get more invitations to, to do funerals? opera music at Maybe. funerals. Maybe. And then, but Ave, the most popular song, Abs, Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Yes. Yeah. The Schubert version. Wedding. That Ave we Maria. know. That Ave, we know very well. Wedding. Ave Wedding. Maria. Yeah. Funeral. Ave Maria. Everything. <laughs> so, so give us a tease of the Ave Maria. I ask people, do they know what it means? Mm -hmm. Because it, it's a prayer. It's actually the Hail Mary. So maybe you can do so, the first so time and you ask for it. I, I'm like, okay, if you know what it means, fine. It was, yeah. I, I, it means well, I never knew. Fine. Yeah, it's a prayer. Okay, so just give us some. I don't us, even uh, know the words. All I know I, is I don't that. Know, uh, the way we say it, we sing it in Latin. <laughs> okay. okay, but it's, it's the Hail Mary. Okay, okay. so just give us some three degree. lines and tell us where the Hail Mary and where the. It's the whole. It's the whole song is a prayer. Oh really? Yeah, the whole song is a prayer. Oh, okay, so go just give us some. You know how we do it. Even before the performance. That's it. Go crazy. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. No, no, no. Oh, my God. But, yeah. No, but so, so uh, we're going to get a pianist, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so you get your compliment and do an mm -hmm. amazing piece. Yeah. But, you know, before we go for the break, you are a mother. Yeah. You are a mm. wife. How many kids do you have now? Four. Four. How old, how, old, how old are they? The first <laughs> one is... He's nine. Nine. Then seven. Then mm -hmm. seven. Then six. Six. Then one. Yeah. No, then you are a superwoman. So how do you Can get up to come do the breakfast show? I don't even know. But you do it. Charlie. <laughs> I no, don't we, we, oh, 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 we have to take a break and take some tea and um, come back for something spectacular. <laughs> Hello, viewers. I'm feeling very frustrated in a board in some life. I'm very happy. If you don't understand, don't worry, call me, sir. I don't understand. In this edition, Vodafone Ghana has now made it possible to send money from Vodafone Cash to all network free. But here, I'm going to say, we'll cross over to our senior reporter for more details. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing in front downtown. You know, uh, oh, I'm learning to get to make a vlog. I'm on Kwani Adise, Vodafone, I'm on Kwani Adise. Uti me sene sika du duopia, Emily du duopia. I go all the network, I will check up there. Me tisi montezo, di I'm on Kwani. Fifia, Martin do sell zoda nye buto charges mano me. For me, I do a lot of online transactions. <laughs> See, the excitement for me is that I get to save a lot on Vodafone Cash. Please put me down. I'm so excited. I can now send money to all networks without any charges. Me ye jedi ni ba. A bibia se se mi chia me juma ye fo kan. Sika mi chia se charges no. E do so do do. Me se 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 die. Me da Vodafone Cash as. Sending money on Vodafone Cash to all networks is now free. Send any amount of money as many times as you like to all networks for free. Dial star 110 hash now to send money. Any amount for my 
This is the red news. Uh, apologize. The future is exciting. Ready? Welcome back to see what in the upside that show proudly brought to you by Vodafone Ghana. The future indeed is exciting. Ready? Ready? Right, so we have Edwin seated. Mm -hmm. And we have cock standing. Yeah. And so when you have the two pair, then you know that you are in for a whole different feel. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be taking you away from Adabraka to somewhere in... Because are we doing something Italian? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> yes, we have, to Rome. we have brought Rome to Adabraka. Great. Wow. All right. So <laughs> we are in, celebrating uh -huh. Rome right here. In in but so yeah. Edwin and Cox, the floor is yours. So we're going to perform a piece entitled, Oh, Mio Babino Caro, which means, Oh, my dear father. And it's from an opera by the great Italian composer Giacomo Puccini. So if you've heard of Puccini, this is one of the arias from his operas. An aria is a song from an opera, okay? Um, so let's go. And he played. Oh, that we, was have amazing. Play. we have to always oh, acknowledge Edwin. our pianists, our instrumentalists. Amazing so this is Edwin stuff. Ferguson. Amazing oh. stuff. Probably the most fantastic pianist I've ever worked with. Trust wow. me. I have wow. those bumps. Wow. Fantastic. Wow. Edwin, yeah. wow. so this request, you know, I'm not going to ask Kokui. I'm ah. asking you. Ah. You know, um, what is this? it's my birthday it's week. Ambush marketing. <laughs> so it's only fair that you play. I know if you start playing Kofi, you'll sing. Yeah. So. But if I hmm. pass the request through there, mm -hmm. it might be shut down. Okay. So it's only fair, you know, that you do something birthday ish. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Cox. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm ready to hold my hand. Yes. So let's serenade oh. the beautiful Firma. Oh, thank you. As it is her so birthday. Well, you also joined this. Okui, at this wish. moment, all I want to do is grab a glass of wine and enjoy you singing. Yeah. yeah. yeah no. I'm a quality. The party was come <laughs> right after. Thank you, Cox. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah. This is what we get for working mm -hmm. with you. You gave the request right? to Edwin. So, me, I'm just here. Look, he started. Oh, she'll be moved.
Oh, of course. You're amazing, Kokui. I don't know why I'm not crying. Oh, I don't know why I'm not crying. Why? Oh, why? You. You're the boss. You're the boss. You're so the can't boss. we do Ave Maria? Absolutely beautiful. Ah, please, oh, but you, know you can't live without doing Ave Maria. You can't go without Ave Maria. What, Bekona? Come on. We know, well, I don't speak Ghana. I, don't, I, don't, I just don't understand. <laughs> so, please. No, you know we're not going to let you go without Ave Maria. I love you so Come much. On. Why do I feel that we click? <laughs> wow. Please, thank you. <laughs> no. Thank you. We'll, we'll yeah. only do two lines. No, no, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> Please continue. I don't, I don't want to spoil the glory. The extended version. Edwin.
Super. You, you, you are awesome. You are a superstar. I mean, you are amazing. You are everything. No, give it to her. Give it to her. Give it to her. You know, you know, you know, I mean, I just feel so complete, you know, for a birthday. This is a remarkable imagine? one for me, Absolutely. you know. Remember that the show is brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? We're going for a break, and when we come back, we have more for you. Mm -hmm. Hello, viewers. I'm feeling very frustrated and bored in Sambula. I'm very happy. If you don't understand, don't worry, call me, sir. I don't understand. In this edition, Vodafone Ghana has now make it possible to send money from Vodafone Cash to all network free. We will cross over to our senior reporter for more details. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing in front of downtown. You know, uh, oh, I'm learning to yet make a vlog. I'm not going to Vodafone, I'm not going to for me, I do a lot of online transactions. <laughs> See, the excitement for me is that I get to save a lot on Vodafone Cash. Please, put me down. I'm so excited. I can now send money to all networks without any charges. Me ye jadiniba. A bribe says a michia me juma ye fuakano. Sika michia se charges no. And don't so do do. Nessu say say die. Me da Vodafone Cash a se. Sending money on Vodafone Cash to all networks is now free. Send any amount of money as many times as you like to all networks for free. Dial star 110 hash now to send money. Any amount for Masumo. This is the red news. Uh, apologize. The future is exciting. Ready? All right, you're welcome back. This is the Upside Down Show sponsored or brought to you by Vodafone. The future is exciting. Ready? Mm -hmm. Now, just before that break, our wonderful singer Kokui was daring our beautiful Frema to oh. do some singing. And so we've been joined in studio by one of our favorite bands. No, ever. you guys have something else. So no, you're going to have to sing. And we're still down. celebrating you. Uh -huh. I mean, it's your birthday weekend. Oh, uh, we're still in the mood. Uh, from now to the rest of the year, we're celebrating you. Of course. And so to help us do some more of that celebration, we have the G's band in the building. Wow. What's up, my people? Yeah, so what's up with you guys, man? What kind of music do you do? What kind of shows do you play? I mean, this band is actually um, a live band, like as it is, and we are mostly into hotel gigs. Okay. For the hotels. Awesome. Um, I wouldn't say we are for that, but it depends on what you need. Mm. Okay. We chat based on what you want us All to do. All right. Mm. Yeah. So if I if I need you to play at my event, where can I find you on okay, social so, media? Okay. Um, so um. On Facebook is the G's band. Mm -hmm. Same thing across on social media. All right. There and then J double E S. Okay. okay. G's. Band, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere you can. Mm. All right. You guys are the G's. Uh, mm. Teach us to so show us yeah. why you are the G's. Yeah. Nice. Let's celebrate our beautiful flavor. You got this. Let's do wow this. Wow, me. <laughs> <laughs>
Splendid wow. stuff. You guys are awesome. Grateful stuff. Now mm. we're going to hear from Fema. Yep. That word. You're going to serenade us. Of but course, it's your birthday. birthday. I know, uh -huh. but we need to hear you sing. You know, Kokui has been daring you to sing all through the entire program. <laughs> and so, we need you to do us the honors. Please, my love. Treat us to something beautiful. I mean, we know what you can do. No, no, please. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say too much. Take us away, right, baby. Um, so let me just say thank you, mm -hmm. G's band. Hi, guys. Hello. That was a nice session. Thank and thank you. you very much for making it um, up to me. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ghana. Thank you, Team City. Mm. Thank you, Upside Down. And um, for such amazing birthday, all I can say is thank you to yep. the God. Yep. Let's do this with our own <laughs> yeah, that was and you have to do something well, for me. Well, I'll try. I'll try. You know, Please. I'm not good at singing, so I'm going to need a G's band to help me do this. I'll sit yeah? down and cross my legs. We're doing and enjoy. this for you. It's a love song, but uh, to me, I'm switching it. I'm asking the blessings not to be late. Cool. Yeah? All cool. right, this is for you, baby girl. Are you Thank guys ready? You. Let's rock this party like nobody. Yeah. Thank All right, let's you. go. <laughs> Let's 
Now everybody knows how much Fema loves that Ratchet Chair. I mean, it's, it's, it's an open me secret. Me, maybe Fema a Kwa Boy Dina Me or something. Maybe we should re-christen <laughs> you. I guess. Mm, rename you. But now I know, I'm going to see a girl to her. So you're going to see what you feel. You know, I mean, I mean the way, princess that I am. Any which way. There's no way we can wrap up this show without doing a Ratchet Chair. Oh. And so, Fema, please do us the honors. It's your birthday was supposed to be celebrating you, yes. but at this point, this is your celebration. Aria Chiche, please take I mean, us away. I mean, you when you Okay. All right. So, people, you know I'm celebrating my birthday with you. And Aria Chiche, you when you Can we do this? Right. <laughs> Ankasa <laughs> Prima, see me one for two. What's it? 
Ya veo piano para sao. It's your birthday. Yeah, no me lo sué. I just wanna wish you a birthday, everyone. Don't ever stop being happy, girl. So I want to wish you a very big happy birthday. Um, I want to say God bless you. I know um, I have your invite. Definitely, I'm going to come. You know, I won't disappoint you, right? <laughs> uh, so, uh, so uh, you're welcome. I will teach you every word you say. If you really buy, I will teach you every word you say. And you mean more. Hey, I don't know why you're going to say. I don't know why you're going to say. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm still shaking. Yeah, I can <laughs> can do, I do, I do. All right.